What's up? This is BB O'Hare. I'm with 24-7 HH doing my queen bars, and this piece is entitled Closed Caption. No act that I'm speaking in closed caption. Designer everything, like even my clothes captioned. Soul searching, I'd rather do soul snatching for all these niggas that hear it and swear they got no reaction to it. You a lie, fam, but it's all right, though. Cause Jimmy fell into that shit on the Tonight Show, so I go ten times harder than all these bitches. Inspect the gadget, I'm really about the trenches. What up? It's like you don't have to see me to visualize what's going on. You could hear the lyrics and, and kind of depict what's going on in the picture. At times, you know, you may not be too sure about what direction you're headed, but Jimmy Fallon to the seat on The Tonight Show is more like me playing on words and being like, oh, the irony of the fact that I kind of stumbled upon it, but I'm good at it, and I could really elevate and be on a higher plateau with it. So that's what that's talking about. And then uh, the Inspector Gadget line, I'm really about the trenches. It's just basically saying like, I had a little rough patch, but I'm back and I'm better than ever. And you know, this is the time for me to do it. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go hard and give everything that I have. You talking whereabouts? I'd rather wear it out. What a time for jump man, cause I'ma air it out. And what a time to get ghosts, cause I'ma clear it out. It's seven big and alive and five I care about. Came back to get it like shit when you get evicted and point the finger at them like bitches that swear you did it. So if a nigga on trial, just know that I gotta quit it. The fee for all these lines depends if we really kick it. So um, I'm sorry when it take too long. I've been dealing with a whole lot of hate too long. I've been dealing with a whole lot of snakes too long. A bunch of foo-ass niggas had to take two wongs to get it right. Cause nowadays it's looking iffy. They swear they got it. That's only after the gimme. Basically, this is me saying to my fans that this would be my second coming and my second time around for them. So I had to overcome a few hurdles of drop a few people, <laughs> um, you know, just normal life stuff. And now that I'm back, I want you to feel the intensity of where I'm coming from. I'm here to claim what is mine, basically. And I remember that summer in Corpus Christi, the holiday always better when Papa was throwing billies around. Oh, you feeling me now? Bitches wouldn't share a Barbie, but you kin to me now, yeah. This how your enemy sound. You know how Trevor felt when he let Hillary down. Man, star player, I never did pom-poms unless it was palm trees or a nigga to pom-poms. Until my future children just know that your mom's bomb and tell me how they react when they play this at y'all's prom. I'm predicting the future. I don't have children at this current time, but uh, if ever I am to have some, hopefully mommy is dope enough at that time that my songs can be played at their prom and they can get all those type of props. Might be the realest I spoke, whether the realest I wrote. And if it is, then it's the realest you quote. The realest I gave, the realest I made. For real, I'm dope. If Shonda throwing rhymes, then I'm Olivia Pope. Obama's inauguration, boy, I'm giving them hope. I took it and ran with it. Had feel to elope, my nigga. Yeah. I took it and ran with it. Had it feel to elope, my nigga. Just a little bit of the backstory of this track. Um... I actually freestyled this track for real, for real. <laughs> it was just a time where I hadn't dropped anything for a little bit and I was kind of like in a weird space and I had a lot of stuff I wanted to get off my chest. And so it was kind of like me saying, you know, I'm gonna be as vivid as possible in this song to give you the feeling of what I'm trying to capture. I wanna let you know that, yeah, I've been gone for a minute, but nothing has changed as far as what my audience is used to and I believe that they think that that's bars. So it was really about just capturing the mood and the vibe. I found a beat, I rapped on top of it, and closed caption is what came out of it. That's a nightmare, don't fight fair for white hair. Benjamin Franklin's killing, we hate for him. Write a song justifying the lies we take for him. Hold up. The whole concept and the idea of this American dream is really, it's a nightmare for those people who can't really, you know, achieve it the way that they say, they, they put it in front of you. And so what we begin to do is prostitute ourselves for for money. The dudes that I've met in Beverly Hills haven't been that tight. Like I met a lot of uh, just shady, weird people, and not just Beverly Hills, just like all those like areas that you put up on the, the house on the hills, you know? And especially from a music standpoint, like that's what people be doing. And it's like, you're pimping your art and you're pimping your talent. And um, I don't know if you should really pimp it, bro. So on this part right here, I have to play the guitar. So I, have to, I went to guitar rig and I had a guitar and I played over the sample to go hear the guitar. So this is guitar rig. So this is the this is the bass right here that I played, and I use guitar rig. I've always looked at 
you know, people taking medication for depression. Like, is happiness something you can just buy, and put in yourself and feel, or it's something you have to find spiritually or mentally?